Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to the world of Android customization. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android home screen. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so like I said, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a fantastic looking home screen. So this one right here is titled The Essence by the author Anamu and it's a simply brilliant. It's a single page classy, stylish, it's minimal, it's very elegant looking and I just this just blew me away when I saw it and I was like I have to do a video tutorial for you guys. Like I said it is a single page so what you see here is what you get. Starting off at the top right here we've got our little weather information there all in these little hexagon shapes. You got your time, your date and then beneath that you got your little jump to shortcuts and you can have whatever you need because it's an icon pack so you can just pick and choose whatever you want so that's all custom and it looks really good there with that transparent nav bar or soft keys at the bottom there it looks really cool and then you got your battery information it's a really well put together theme and if you'd like to know how to set up this very home screen then let us begin with today's video tutorial Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. First up, I'm going to be using a third-party launcher. This one right here is SS Launcher, and you need the original or the paid version just simply because you can hide the labels at the top, otherwise it looks extremely messy. So you're going to need the paid version for that. Next up will be Zupa Widget Pro. That allows you to add in these widgets over here and you need the pro version simply because you can't add in custom templates with the free version. Next up will be the tiny black icon pack by the artist Samantha Connor or Sammy Cakes. She did a fantastic job with these icons and I highly recommend that you go and try them out especially for this theme. Next or well, finally I do recommend a good file explorer such as ES File Explorer simply because it's very easy to copy and paste files which is what we're going to be doing right now. So what you do want to do is check in the link in the description below that comes with everything that you need including the Zupa widget files as well as the wallpaper. So once you have everything that you need I want you to download that zip file. You want to either extract it onto your computer using some extraction software such as WinZip or WinRAR or 7Z whatever and then you want to copy that folder onto your phone or you can just do it directly and use your file explorer to extract it. Once you have that folder onto your phone or on your phone I'm just going to be opening it up now and showing you where to place your Zupa widget files. So what you want to do right now is navigate to that folder you've copied onto your phone. Here it is, I just called it the essence. And what you want to do right now is to open it up and you want to look for those Zupa widget files. And you know that they're Zupa widget files because they end in .zw. So all you want to do is hold down on say one of them and you just want to select the rest like that. Select copy, go back now. You want to go into your main SD card directory and then scroll all the way to the bottom where you want to locate that Zupa widget folder. Well, you just want to open it up right now, open the templates folder and all you have to do now is select paste and copy all those files into this specific location. Great, once that's done, hopefully you also have that wallpaper copied onto your phone and now we can move on to editing our SS launcher settings. Great, so all I've done now is just reset my SS launcher to the complete stock setup. As you can tell, everything's back to the way it is. So we're going to start off from here. What you want to first do or what I always like to do with SS Launcher, hold down on those labels at the top, scroll all the way down and you want to go all the way to your hide labels and you want to enable hide labels and then click apply changes so those will now disappear quick and simple like that. Next up you want to get rid of all your widgets or whatever apps that you have on your current SS Launcher screen. You can either just hold down and drag them into the bin at the top like this. It is a bit easier but if it doesn't work you can just hold down and select remove like that. You just want to get rid of everything doesn't always work so just holding down and remove is probably your best bet so you want to hold down get rid of everything so you have a completely blank screen as now we're going to be jumping into the deeper settings so I'm just going to select my back button now I guess you could just go into your menu SS launcher settings as well but this brings up your SS launcher settings now what you want to do now you're going to first jump into our theme settings once you're in your theme settings now this is kind of a shortcut you're welcome to do it but it's all up to you now as you can tell I've set my icon pack as the tiny black icon pack. Now what that basically means is that instead of customizing each one of your icons individually you can just drag them in from the app drawer and it takes a whole lot less time. So all you'd have to do is to go into your icon pack and then change it from there. But like I said you're always welcome to keep your own icon pack and then just change the others manually but I'm quite lazy and this took a whole lot less time so they are also quite cool icons. So that's pretty much that for the, the theme settings as now we want to go into our preferences 
and next we want to enable full screen so that's going to hide the status bar at the top but don't worry you can still swipe down and it will reappear once that's done we can just select back and it's a C go back again now what you want to do is just customize the pages a bit I always like to remove this hot page because personally I never use it so if you just select the bin icon like that it gets rid of a page but you're always welcome to add it so at the bottom here selecting add a new page so I always like to have the app page and the home page next to each other and this is personal preference but it does make things a whole lot easier now what you want to do is to set up the home's wallpaper just so that's the wallpaper that comes with the theme so instead of just holding down on the home screen selecting wallpaper I don't really recommend that because then it changes the background I guess you could call it the background wallpaper for the entire or all the pages but this little one here just changes it for the specific page so if you select that little image there it looks like a little image icon I guess you could call it this brings up the wallpaper settings right here and what you want to do is to, to select add an image as now we're going to be adding in that wallpaper so from here just need to go into your preferred gallery app and then find that wallpaper that you've copied onto your phone so I've just selected it like that and what you want to do now is to select that wallpaper and bam it's now been set right there I'm also just going to quickly change my app page as well just so it makes things a lot easier to see so I'm just going to add in my own one that I found recently so there we go those two have been set if we go back now let's just see what it looks like that's all set up and I've got my app page right here and sometimes these app, this app drawer doesn't show any icons. I have no idea why. Let's hopefully they come back soon. Okay, just a quick note. I found how to, how to fix this. If your app drawer happens to be blank, then switch to another icon pack and then switch back and it should now reappear. So just a little heads up for you right there. So what we want to start doing now is to add in each one of these individual icons here at the bottom. And it's extremely easy to do if you're lazy like me and you took that shortcut method where you want to change all your icons in your icon pack. So here's your app drawer right here. And say for example, I want to have my Chrome app on that on this icon page. I'm just going to hold down and drag it to the left hand side. What it does now is bring up this icon. I guess you could call it style preference. And what you want to do now is to select this one right here. It's the one that's up and then to the right of this one that's already been selected. So I'm just going to select that now. It doesn't have a label, it doesn't have a background. It's exactly what you need. Now, as you can tell, there is a slight grid or a snap to grid right here. But what SS Launcher, what it, what's so great about it is that, say if I tap it now, it comes with your little joystick here, which you can just manually just get it into the middle right there. So I think that looks pretty good. It's going to tap away now. And that's your first icon added. Now, what I recommend you do is to add in one, two, three like that. Because what's also great about SS Launcher, it's got this little snap grid or vertical and horizontal bars that show up when you've got them in line. So you start off with ones down there and then you proceed to the ones going down. So that means that when you add in these ones over here, it's a whole lot easier as SS Launcher will just help you get them into those correct positions. So I'm just going to let you add them in one by one right now. Choose whichever ones that you want and then get back to me once you're done. Great, so once you've added in all your individual icons like this and everything looks good, all you have to do now is to add in your Zuper Widget skins at the top here to finish it all off. So in order to add in a Zuper Widget skin, extremely easy to do. I'm going to start off with the clock at the top. We're just going to hold down on your home screen and select New Widget. From here, you want to scroll all the way to the bitty button. You want to select Zuper Widget Pro. And I do recommend a 1x1 one one as size does not matter with this very setup what you want to do now is to make sure that it's pretty much the same size as the hexagon as you can tell it's trying to line up right there I'm going to tap away right now and now select that Zupa widget skin and hopefully if you've copied that Zupa widget, those Zupa widget skins into their rightful places if you go into your SD card now they should now appear as you can tell there's the essence battery the clock the date and then finally the weather so I'm going to start off with the clock boom it's been added and as you can tell it is a little bit teeny tiny so what I do recommend that you do you are welcome to go back and then go back into this editor just to change it but as you can tell there's a little setting here titled scaling and what this allows you to do is as you can tell if I make it bigger it makes the, the clock a whole lot better more bigger so if I go back now let's see what it looks like and that looks pretty good it's a little off to the side so like with those icons if you just hold down on them and just select it again you got the little joystick to get that perfect fit so once you got it the, the way that you want it what you want to do right now 
is to select it this will bring up the editor once again however this time around you want to be changing your widget on tap action and this is pretty much a hotspot or jump to app select I guess you could call it and what if you do if you select it now now if you don't want it to do anything you want to select disabled and that will just when you select it nothing will happen however if we swap across to apps this will allow you to add a custom shortcut or jump to shortcut when you select it so you're just going to choose your shortcut but I always like to just stick with apps so let's just see if I wanted to make it the cam or the clock then I'll just select clock like that and watch what happens I'm going to go back now select that and it brings up the clock how cool and simple is that so all you have to do now is to add in the weather one right here the date one over here and then finally the battery one over there now I'm just going to let you do that on your own because it's exactly the same setup, exactly the same process. And let me just do it once more for you. I'm just going to add in the weather one right now. So I'm going to go new widget, go into the Zupa widget pro one by one. As you can tell, you get into a little rhythm and it makes it a whole lot easier. So let's just make this a little bigger. Great. Tap it again. Go into your SD card. So you can do this quick and simple. Let's go for the weather right here. It's teeny tiny, so you want to change that scaling. Go into my widget on tap action. Let's say if I want to make it open up Iron Sky. Love that app. Let's go Iron Sky, tap back, and voila. So you just need to add in the date and the battery, and then you are done. Great stuff. So adding them all in. Remember, if you get a Fahrenheit with the weather one, you just want to go into your app preference or your, your Zupa widget preferences, and there's an option there to change it into Celsius. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, this is this home screen complete. It looks fantastic. It's got all your jump to shortcuts right here at the bottom, as well as the widgets at the top. For example, the clock right here brings it up quick and simple. So I really enjoyed this theme. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, please don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta right now. And it's literally all in one click. If you just want to change your theme, you can go into browse themes, choose whatever theme that you want. Say, I like, uh, let's go for this one right here. You just click apply and it applies it in seconds. So, and also always don't forget to go check out our social communities on my color screen as well as Thema. We are on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we're on it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from my color screen. And as always, don't stop customizing. <laughs>